Hydrapple is one of the many new Pokemon introduced in the Indigo Disc DLC and is loved by many, including me. I mean, just look at the little guy. Anyway, with its signature move Fickle Beam being able to double in power to a whopping 160, paired with its great base 120 special attack, it's hard to switch into this thing. Slap an assault vest on it and you're taking special hits for days. The first battle with Hydrapple is against Avanti from the Pokemon Battle Hub Discord. And let me tell you, Hydrapple pops off. But can it win us the game? So without further ado, I present to you the Hydrapple video. And the battle begins. Good luck, have fun to my opponent, Elvanti. So they lead off with Samurai as I expected, as I lead off with my Hydrapple. So I figured probably a good lead. Um, Hydrapple does really well against their entire team. So I'm going to go for a Giga Dream right off the bat. They do go for a Caesar's Edge, which is going to do a bit of damage to us. Gets the spikes up as well. But we get a nice clean Giga Drain off, which is definitely going to nearly KO this thing. Um, it does over half, which is great. Absolutely fantastic. There we go. We've got some damage back as well, which is great. I'm going to go for a Fickle Beam this turn, expecting them to switch out, as they do in fact switch out. Are they going to go Gouging Fire, Dragapult maybe? Benito. Is that going to be the Dragapult? It's the Rillaboom. So we went for the right play. Hopefully we go all out, because that would be amazing if we could Hydrapple. That would be really cool. We go the Fickle Beam. Oh, we are going all out. Nice. I called it, as that's going to cleanly take out the Rillaboom in one shot. Hydrapple coming through. What an absolute legend. In comes Kaboom, the Paldea champion, which is going to be the Dragapult. I don't really want to get hit by a Draco Meteor, but at the same time, I kind of want to Terra um, just to get rid of him. So I am going to Terrastalize straight away. I'm going to go into my Terra Poison form. I am a Salt Vest, so I can definitely take a hit from this thing. And I can't really switch out because if they Dragon Dance, it's all Ogre. It's all Ogre if they Dragon Dance. So I have to Terra Poison Fickle Beam here or else, you know, things could happen. So Hydrapple comes through. And um, they do go for a U-turn, expecting us to do this potentially. And what are they going to go into? Are they going to go into the Goldengo or the Umbreon maybe? Watch us get all out again. That'd be amazing. Goldengo comes in, which is a good switch. So if, if it's holding an Air Bloom, which it is... We can get rid of that air balloon right now with a Fickle Beam, which is great. A bit of damage as well. Like I said, we're a Salt Vest, so we can definitely take in a hit from this Goldengo, no problem. They are going to get some health restored, obviously, and so are we from the grassy terrain. And I'm just going to go for an Earth Power. I don't really see any reason not to. They go for a Make It Rain, expecting it to do way more than it actually does. As they get a Special Attack drop as well, which is great. So we go for an Earth Power. That's going to definitely do a lot of damage to the Goldengo. Actually nearly takes it cleanly out, which is amazing. So... Looking at the current team standings, I would say Hydrapple is doing really, really well here. So let's go for a Fickle Beam once again. They do go for another Make It Rain, which is fine. Weakening us to the point where they can probably Revenge Kill us with something else. But we have got the Regenerator, so we can just switch out. I'm going to go all out on the Fickle Beam again. We get two out of three. That's amazing as the Goldengo goes down. I love the uh, going all out animation for Fickle Beam. It's so cool. As in comes Kaboom once again. That is the Dragapult, if I remember correctly. Yes, it is. Um, so we have to switch out here, of course. This looks like a Hydrapple sweepy sweep, though. Hydrapple putting in the work this game, I tell you what. Let's go into Heatran real quick. Um, just because, uh, like I said, they have u turn so I don't think they'll Dragon Dance. You don't normally see u turn on the Dragon Dance set. Um, so I'm not worried about the Dragon Dance. As uh, we go into good old Heatran, get hit by some spikes. They go for a Draco Meteor. And that's going to do absolutely nothing to Heatran, which is amazing. So we might actually see a DC or a forfeit here, which would be hilarious if we did. Um, but you know what? It's a W for Hydrapple either way. Expecting a U-turn or a hard switch. They do hard switch into Umbreon or Gouging Fire. I'm going to go for a Taunt. They actually go into Samurott, um, which is fine. Um, Samurott is absolutely fine. Um, Taunt is going to go through and stop them from doing whatever the Samurott things they do. Um, so what we're going to do instead is expecting a Ceaseless Edge uh, or something along those lines. I'm going to hard switch into Landorus and then U-turn. I think that is the way to go. I don't think we need... I really don't think we need to get the Stealth Rocks up necessarily. Getting into Landorus at all is just great. Getting the Intimidate off the Samurai is great. Um, so they go for the Ceaseless Edge, which is going to do, obviously, no damage to us. We get some Rocky Helmet Chip as well. It does get the Spikes up, though, which is going to whittle away our Hydrapple a little bit once we switch it back in. But you know what? It's fine. So let's go for a U-turn real quick. I could go for Stealth Rocks, but I'm, I'm, I'm inclined not to. They go for an Aqua Jet to get some last-minute damage off. And um, that's going to Rocky Helmet them. And then we go for the U-turn, which is going to take out the Samurai. So Samurai goes down, which is fantastic. Maybe I should have gone for the Stealth Rocks there. There was no reason not to go for the Stealth Rocks. That was a misplay, but oh well. Now I'm just like, let's just go back into Hydrapple. We've got pretty much all our health back. And if we switch out again, we get more Regenerator health back. 
Um, the spikes are going to hurt a little bit, but it's fine. And they're going to go into Kaboom the Dragapult once again. And I'm, I'm guessing they're thinking, you know what, we can drop a Draco and KO this thing. Well, unfortunately, sir, we are Assault Vest. They're going to Terrastalize, hopefully Dragon. And if it is Ghost, hopefully we go all out again. That'd be hilarious if we did. Uh, it's Ghost. Terry Ghost, which is fine. So they're probably going to go for a Shadow Ball here. You know what? Hydrapple can take it. I'm, I'm, I'm pretty confident Hydrapple can take a Terra, Terra Ghost Shadow Ball. So they go for the Terra Ghost Shadow Ball. Um, it's going to do a probably a solid 35% of our remaining HP. As it does around that. We go for the Fickle Beam. Oh, we're going all out again. Oh, no way. Down goes the Dragon Ball. <laughs> That's free going all out. So we got in one game. Hydrapple is absolutely cracked right now. What a maniac. In comes... Flame Medic Day. Um, I don't think we can afford to switch out here because if they Dragon Ants, it's all Ogre. Then again, we could just go Landorus. I think I'm going to go Landorus. I think I'm going to go Landorus. Um, they probably go straight for the KO, not wanting to get hit by a Fickle Beam. That could potentially go all out again. So we go into Landorus. We get the Intimidate off, which is great. And they probably go for a Dragon Dance, right? Dragon Tail. Interesting. So we're going to get some Rocky Helmet Chip, which is great. Um, and now... If that's all they've really got for us, I kind of want to go back into Hydrapple, but we're getting forced into Rampados anyway. <laughs> so Rampados, who is the main character of this team, is getting forced out to not do anything. Uh, other than maybe Rock Slide. We could go for Rock Slide. They go for Burning Bulwark, which unfortunately for them isn't going to block a Head Smash and burn us. It's going to block a Rock Slide, which is a non-contact move, which means that there's no burn for Rampados. So really, Rampados could do something here. Rampados could do something here. So let's go for a Rock Slide again. They withdraw. They're going to go into the Umbreon. That's the last remaining Pokemon after all. Uh, Umbreon comes in Mooncake. I like that nickname. That's a cool nickname for an Umbreon. Nice and shiny as well. Gotta love it. Uh, we go for that Rock Slide. We do miss, unfortunately. And now, Foul Play is going to really hurt this um, Rampados. That's for sure. But we know that the Gouging Fire can't touch us. So we may as well switch out. So I'm leaning towards the Landorus. So I'm going to go into Landorus real quick, get an Intimidate off. Not that it really matters if they're foul play. They could be Snarl though, to be fair. So we'll go Great Stripe, like so. Get the Intimidate off, not that it really matters too much. And they go for a foul play, which is going to sting a little bit, but just not too much. As they get a Rocky Helmet off, which is great. Um, now what I'm going to do is, because it looks like there's going to be some switching between Gouging Fire and Umbreon. I'm going to go ahead and go for a taunt so they can't wish. That would be annoying if they could wish. There we go. Taunt comes through. Mooncake fell for the taunt. But they get, they, they tried to go for a wish. Unfortunately, they can't do that. As uh, my best play right now would probably be to go for an EQ expecting a foul play. So let's go for the EQ. They do stay in probably to go for a foul play unless they've got another attacking move I don't know about. Uh, there's the foul play. So we're going to get some Rocky Helmet Chip as well, which is great. And uh, with them being taunted, I have a good feeling about Hydrapple right now. I have a very good feeling about Hydrapple right now, in fact. They're going to get some leftovers recovery, which is great and all. Hydrapple comes back in, and I have got the strangest feeling ever about Fickle Beam right now. I don't know what it is. I'm going to go for the Fickle Beam. They go for a foul play. It's going to sting a little bit, not too much. And we don't go all out, but it does do a lot of damage, which is fine. So what we're going to have to do here is we're going to have to switch out again, get the regenerator, because we're going to want to keep Hydrapple around, that's for sure. Um, so they shook off the taunt, which means they can now go for a wish, but they'll probably go for a foul play. Um, in which case, I think the... Hmm. I think the Mandibuzz is the correct thing to do here, and we need to defog away those spikes, because this is, this is going to be hard to whittle down this Umbreon and Gouging Fire Core. With that Hydrapple. But they go for a foul play anyway, which is great. Um, they don't go for a wish, which is interesting. So they probably wasn't expect they're probably expecting us to go all out with the next fickle beam. That's probably what it is. Because we've hit three in a row. Let's go for a defog and get rid of these spikes first and foremost. They do go for a protect, but that does not really matter against defog. I don't think. Or does it? Protect works against defog. I didn't realize. I thought it was like an uh, arena move. Anyway, next turn we'll go for a defog. <laughs> Defog comes through. We get rid of them spikes, which is great. Now we can get Hydrapple in and Regenerator up without taking any uh, hazard damage. They go for a Toxic, though, which is unfortunately going to be unfortunate for Mandibuzz. That's for sure. So 
And um, what we can do now is um, I want to get my Hydrapple back up to pretty much full HP if I can do. Um, because of that gouging fire being a big threat. Um, so what I'm going to do here is I'm going to go ahead and switch out by U-turning. So I'm going to go for a U-turn real quick. They do go for a wish, which is in, which is fine. Which is fine. We go for a U-turn, and then we get a free switch into Hydrapple, pretty much. Um, I'm wondering what they're going to do against the Hydrapple, though. I'm wondering if they're going to go for a foul play or not. Whether they're going to go for a protect or not. So I'm going to go ahead and go into Hydrapple. And I know this is a lot of switching for all you anti-switches out there, but listen up, right? You've got to let me do this. You've got to let me do this. To take care of this Umbreon, we now have to expect the Protect and go into Rampardos. They're going to Protect, because they would have switched out first if they were going to switch out. We're going to Dread. They're going to get their Wish back, which is fine. They actually go for a Foul Play. No! Rampardos goes down because of its massive attack stat. That is unfortunate. They're going to get a Wish Recovery right now, which is very unfortunate for us. Um, losing our physical attackers like that. Is going to be make, make it really tough to take out this uh, Umbreon, that's for sure. Um, they can't Toxic Stall the Umbre uh, the uh, the Hydrapple, so that's, that's, that's something, I guess. Um, I guess we just go into Hydrapple. I think the way we defeat this Umbreon is by going into Heatran. I think that is the way to go about it. We go for a Taunt, stop them from going for any shenanigans. Taunt comes through, there we go. We're not going to let you do any of them wish shenanigans, that's, that's for sure. Um, as they actually go ahead and go for a foul play to hit us in the face. Bonk. And that does absolutely nothing to Heatran. The leftover is going to restore pretty much all of that, which is absolutely amazing for us. Um, so now, all I have to do is, A, go for a Lava Plume to get the burn. That would be clutch. And I'm hoping I get it in the first try, because that would be amazing if we did. They do withdraw. Interesting. And they go into the Gouging Fire. Again, Interesting. They have Booning Bulwark, Dragon Tail. Do we think they have Earthquake? Is it worth scouting? I think it's worth scouting. Because we don't know what the Scourging Fire can do. It's not a Dragon Dance because they have Dragon Tail, right? So what do we do? I'm going to go into my uh, Mandibus because if they do Dragon Dance for whatever reason, um, we can foul play them in the face, which would be amazing. So we'll go to Pebbles. Like so. They Dragon Tail us here, which is fine. It's going to do no damage to Mandibuzz. Maybe I should have stayed in an Earth Powered. But hey ho, it is what it is. They must not have Earthquake or anything like that. So we go Hydrapple now, which is great. Gets dragged out. Um, we go straight for a Fickle Beam here 100% of the time. They withdraw. Hopefully we can go all out this time and get some massive damage on the Umbreon. That would be amazing. Mooncake is going to come in. Like so. We go for a Fickle Beam and it does absolutely zero damage. We need to save at least one Fickle Beam for that Gouging Fire. We need to save at least one Fickle Beam for that Gouging Fire. So what I'm going to do here is I'm going to whittle it down with Giga Drain. They go for a Foul Play. That's fine. It's not doing much damage. We go for a Giga Drain. Get some health back every single time. Love to see it. Expecting a Wish, I'm going to go for an Earth Power instead. And they do go for a Wish, which is great. Just to see if we can get a Special Defense drop, which would be nice. Um, as we don't get it, unfortunately. But we'll keep going for it just in case. They do go for another Foul Play to get some damage off on us, which is fine. We go for another Earth Power. And that's going to go ahead and do a bit of damage. But do we get a Special Defense Drop? We don't. So we don't get the Special Defense Drop again. They go for another Foul Play, which is going to do a bit of damage to us. Uh, we go for another Earth Power. Hopefully we get a Special Defense Drop. If we're going to get at least one, that would be amazing. Um, but unfortunately, we don't. So I'm going to make a different turn. I'm going to go into Heatran again, and I'm going to taunt this thing. Um, the reason being is because, well, I want to taunt it for a start. They go for a foul play, which is great. Um, so I'm going to go for a taunt once again. They probably stay in and just go for foul plays at this point. I think it's in one of them things where they know they can't really win the matchup. So they're just going to, like, give up. But I don't know whether they're actually going to do that or not. So we go for a taunt, stopping them from going for any wish shenanigans, which is great. Um, as they fall for the taunt, they try to go for a... Oh, they go for a foul play. Never mind. I thought they'd go for a wish there. Never mind. That's fine. We go for an Earth Power 100% of the time here because Earth Power has the same special defense drop chance as Flash Cannon and it hits the Gouging Fire. So we may as well do it, right? So they withdraw, which is great. So we're going to get some nice damage on the um, Gouging Fire right now with an Earth Power. Flamre the Ete comes in. We go for that Earth Power, which is going to do a nice bit of damage. 
Great bit of damage. And now we know they have Dragon Tail as their only way of attacking our Heatran. We can just stay in and go for another one. So let's go for another Earth Power. They go for a Morning Sun. That's fine. Again, that's, that's absolutely fine. We go for an Earth Power. It looks like this one's coming down to the timer, unfortunately. Earth Power comes through. Oh, we got a critical hit, I believe. Yeah, it was a crit. That's awesome. As they go for a Dragon Tail, which is going to force us out into something. And um, probably going to be the Hydrapple, if I had to guess. And then we'll go for another Fickle Beam to hopefully take out this Gouging Fire. So let's see what we get dragged into. Uh, Mandibuzz. Okay, Mandibuzz is fine. So Mandibuzz gets dragged out. We get the poison, obviously. And uh, what we can do here is, because we know they're probably going to uh, go for the Umbreon switch, we should... Um, let's go for a Foul Play expecting a Dragon Tail. The Morning Sun. Let's see how much damage a Foul Play does to a Gouging Fire. Should do a lot of damage, right? So Foul Play comes through. Nice bit of damage. Nice bit of damage. As they can recover to full, really, if they want to. So you know what we're going to do here? We're going to hard switch out. And uh, we're going to go into our Sloking. I think Sloking is the right play to go for here. Because I want to go for a, um, a Future Sight to force that Umbreon back in. And also a Sludge Bomb. I'm, I'm really struggling to get rid of this Gouging Fire Umbreon. They go for the Temper Flare, though. Which does a lot of damage. We go for a Sludge Bomb here 100% of the time. They go for Morning Sun. I'm trying to get the Poison, really. That's what I'm trying to do. Get the Poison. So we go for the Sludge Bomb. Nice bit of damage. Get the Poison. There we go. Lovely job. Lovely job from that Gouging Fire right there. They go for a Temper Flare, which is going to do notes to the Slow King as we go for a Chili Reception just to get back into the Hydrapple to go for a, uh, a Fickle Beam. And I'm going to have to try and get Wall out on the Fickle Beam. I I'm going to have to try it. That's, that's pretty much all I can do. So this battle is going to end unended. But you know what? Hydrapple, uh, can we all agree? Hydrapple put the absolute work in. It hit three Fickle Beams going all out. All right? <laughs> in one battle. Potentially four if we pull it off with this one. Potentially four. So let's see what they do here. Uh, we go for the Fickle Beam once again. They do go for the Temper Flare just to get some damage off, I guess. Makes sense. We go for a Fickle Beam. Not going all out, but we do take out the Gouging Fire. So Gouging Fire is gone, which is great. And now we have one more Fickle Beam left <laughs> to which they can go into their Umbreon. Mooncake is going to come in. They can't poison us. We can sit here and Giga Drain them all day, whereas they run out of wishes soon. So I think we win this game. They go for a wish, though. Let's see if we go all out or not. Come on, go all out. Go all out. No, we don't go all out, which is unfortunate. So it would have been cool to end the battle on a going all out one. But anyway, the Umbreon is just unkillable. But Hydrapple took out, what, four or five of their Pokemon? So you know what? It's a W. Whether they like it or not, it's a W. GG. What a nail bite that was. Granted, the ending was a bit slow, but landing free going all out Fickle Beams was insane. Our next battle is against Ken, and well, you'll see. And the battle begins. Good luck, have fun, Ken. So they're going to lead off with Ratface, the Walking Wake, as we lead off with Lando. Um, That's not good in their lead for us. That's for sure. So we're going to have to switch out here. We're going to go into Sloking straight away. They may flip turn into Torkoal. If they do, they do. If they don't, they don't. There we go, withdrawing our Great Tusk, we're going to go into our Slow King. Get a Trick Room up straight away because they've got a lot of fast mons. Scobillin, they've got Great Tusk, they've got Walking Weight, Gouging Fire. Some fast stuff. So they go for a Hydro Steam, which is going to do like no damage, um, which is great. We then go straight for a Trick Room. There's no reason not to go for a Trick Room here. They withdraw that Walking Weight. What are they going to go into, though? That's the real question. They're going to go Grits. Is that Ting Lu? That's Ting Lu. Okay, so Ting Lu comes in. Why did I guess that right? <laughs> we go for a trick room. That's obviously going to benefit us. Um, and now I'm leaning to uh, I'm leaning towards what to do next. I'm, I'm leaning towards the chili reception. I think I will go for chili reception because they probably go for stealth rocks. They do go for stealth rocks. Stealth rocks is fine. We can get rid of those later. So I'm just going to go ahead and chili reception into my hydrapple and then go for a giga drain. I don't see any reason not to. So we chili reception like so. Tell a really bad joke and then just leave the room. Just like pretty much any British comedian. Um, right. So, let's go into Hydrapple real quick. There we go. And I know we get a lowered special attack from this, but you know what? Giga Drain's still going to sting quite a bit. And I, it's all about whittling this thing down because it gets no reliable recovery. So, let's go for a Giga Drain real quick first thing. They withdraw the Tinglu. 
Okay. And what? Grogroff. Who's Grogroff? Is that the gouging fire? The gouging fire comes in. We go for the Giga Drain. Does absolutely nothing, of course. However, I'm pretty confident that not only do we outspeed them because of the Trick Room, but we can also go for a Fickle Beam, and Fickle Beam will actually hit everything on their team. The Hydrapple does really well against their team, to be honest with you. So they might go for a Burning Bulwark here, but I'm going to go for the Fickle Beam regardless. Fickle Beam comes through. It's not all out, so it's only going to do half. If we'd got all out, it would have definitely done more. They roar us. Interesting. And what are we going to get roared into? The Rampados, hopefully. That'd be cool. Rampados? Landorus. Okay, so Landorus comes in. It's dragged out. Pointing Stones do dig in. I'm going to use this as an opportunity to go for... No, there's no point Stealth Rocking just yet. There's no point Stealth Rocking just yet. I want to get rid of my Stealth Rocks first. Because unfortunately, I'm a Defogger and not a uh, Rapid Spinner. So I, I, I want to go for an EQ because it hurts everything on the team pretty much. So I'm going to go for an EQ. They do withdraw. What are we going to get an EQ on? Hopefully the Torkoal. That'd be nice. Somersault. Who's Somersault? That's the, Ram the Great Tusk, right? Yeah, the Great Tusk comes in. The fact that they brought this in tells me they may have Ice Spinner, but also because it's a good switch into an Earthquake. The fact that that did so little, that, uh, so much damage tells me they're probably offensive, um, which means we should probably switch out here. And I'm going to use this as an opportunity to go into Mandibles, our physically defensive Pokemon with Defog. And I'm going to go for said Defog. So um, Pebbles comes in like so. And then they go for a knockoff, which is fine. It's going to knock off our boots. Not too worried about that. We use this as an opportunity to go for a defog, though, 100% of the time. So let's go for said defog. They go for a close combat, which is going to sting a little bit, but not too much. As um, their defenses do drop, we go for a defog like so. And uh, we could scare them out. I think I think they probably switch out here into, like, the Ting Lu or something. But I'm, I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to roost just in case. Because if they close combat again, we want to get their defenses lowered anyway. That'd be great. They withdraw. Okay, so they're going to withdraw into Ting Lu, I'm guessing. Franklin. Who's Franklin? Torkoal. Torkoal comes in. It's going to get that drought up. Uh, we go for the roost just to get our health back because mana bus could still be really useful, especially if that gouging fire sets up a dragon ants. Then we're, it's going to be really useful. So let's go for a U-turn now into our slow king and then we'll go for a trick room slash chili reception again um, to get on out of there. So we'll go into you. They really need to make a Pokemon with the ability to set up trick room upon entry. That'd be so cool. So we'll go slow king like so. Like, slow. Haha. <laughs> Good old Drip Queen over here. They go for a Yawn. So we kind of can't stay in here. So, knowing that, we we go for a Trick Room, right? No, we go for a Chili Reception 100% of the time. We'll set up a Trick Room another day. They go for an Earth Power, though, which is going to sting a little bit. But this is actually a really good opportunity for us. Um, because it means we can go ahead and go for a Chili Reception, like I said. This could potentially be Rampardos' big break. Because... Here's, here's the deal. We get the chili reception up, right? We get the snow up. Okay. We go into Rampardos here. And we go for a rock slide. Nothing, nothing, you know, nothing too amazing. We go for a rock slide. It's sheer force boosted. Brave nature. Life or boosted. Should KO. We go for the rock slide. It should KO. If it hits. They terrestrialize their Torkoal. Who terrestrializes their Torkoal? Who? This person, clearly. Terra Steel. That's not good. So this is a very interesting Torkoal set right here. We go for the Rock Slide. They're still going to sting a little bit. Not too much, though. They go for that Earth Power, which is going to sting us quite a bit. Now, we... Ha we mm, I was hoping it would be Terra Ground for the Earth Power. Then we would have probably died, but... Um, I think we can save Rampardos for later because Trick Room is still a thing. Um, so I'm leaning towards the Hydrapple right now. So that's what I'm going to do. I'm going to go Hydrapple, go for an Earth Power. Earth Power hits pretty much everything on the team for pretty decent damage. So we're going to good old Head Game. They withdraw themselves. They don't want to get hit by an Earthquake, probably. And they go into Rat Face, which is the Ting Lu. I know that was the uh, Walking Wake. Yeah, the Walking Wake comes in. Okay, do we Terra and Fickle Beam? I reckon we Terra Fickle Beam, to be honest with you. No, because we don't need to Terra, because we're in Trick Room. Wait, right? Right, we're not in Trick Room, but they withdraw anyway, because they're expecting the Slow King to come in, probably. And they go into Grits, the uh, Ting Lu, once again. So that's fine. They're going to get the Stealth Rocks up again. That's fine. 
We still have our mandibles full health, pretty much. So we withdraw ourselves, and we go into our Drip Queen once again. This time, though, however, I am going to go for a Trick Room on this thing. I know they could probably go for an Earthquake, but I'm going to go for the Trick Room anyway, because they probably go Stealth Rocks. They actually go straight for the EQ, which is going to do a lot of damage. Nearly takes us out. And there's the Trick Room coming through right there. So Trick Room is up. We're good to go. We have to hard swap now into Hydrapple. The snow does stop. We have to hard switch into Hydrapple right now. Right? That's the that's the way we go about this. So Hydrapple comes in. I, I need to get my Stealth Rocks up somehow. I need to get them up. But they have like two Rapid Spinners in Torkoal and Great Tusk. So it's like hard to do. Hydrapple comes in. They go for an EQ once again. That's going to definitely um, do nothing to us. And then what we can do is, because Trick Room's up, we can go for a Giga Drain, get our health back. There's the Giga Drain come through. It does a lot of damage. And we'll be able to see what set this Tinglu is as well, which would be really interesting to see. So um, they go for the Ruination, which is going to lower our health by half. But we do have the Regenerator, so it's not the end of the world. Um, as we now go for another Giga Drain to get some more damage off as we can. Because Tingling is one of them Pokemon where you just have to whittle it down. You just have to whittle away at it. They withdraw. So what are they going to go into to take said Giga Drain? Franklin. Who's Franklin again? Is that the uh, Torkoal? Yeah, Torkoal. So they might be thinking based on the damage we were doing to the Tinglu that we're Specs. So we go for a Giga Drain here and that still does a lot of damage. So they probably are thinking we're Specs. Um, which is a bold assumption. Because Trick Room is still up. So I'm going to get rid of this Torkoal real quick with an Earth Power. They actually go for a Lava Plume, which nearly does a lot of damage. We go for an Earth Power, though. I didn't think Torkoal would outspeed us in Trick Room, because I'm a Hydrapple's like minus speed, minus zero IVs, and it's really slow. I didn't realize it was faster than Torkoal, though. But Torkoal's down nonetheless, so once we get rid of that Sun, it's gone for good. Somersault comes in, which is, of course, the Great Tusk. Now, this thing is probably going to want to go for a close combat here, or a knockoff. They get the boost and attack from the Protosynthesis, which is unfortunate. We now have to go into Mandibles. We're going to get that Regenerator back from the uh, on the um, Hydrapple. Hydra this could be another Hydrapple video. I've had a bunch of battles today and like Rampardus is tough to pull off, but this could be a Hydrapple one. They get the crit. That's unfortunate. That is really unfortunate. So we basically have to go down now. So I'm going to U-turn just in case, but they definitely go for a close combat KO us. That's, that is definitely going to KO us right there. So um, that's unfortunate. So what do we do here? That is the real question. So they probably have a headlong rush slash earthquake. They've got knockoff. They probably have rapid spin. What do we do? Do we go Landorus? I think we go Landorus. I think Landorus is a good one here because earthquake hits everything really hard. It will finish off the Great Tusk from here as well. And we get the Intimidate off as well, which is going to lower their attack. I don't think they have Ice Spinner. So let's go for an EQ and get that uh, out of the way. They do withdraw. What are they going to go into? The Don't tell me the Gouging Fire of the Tinglu. Rat Face. That's the Walking Wake. Doesn't want to take an Earthquake. It's not going to go down to it by any means, but it doesn't want to take it. That's for sure. So the Special Attack is going to get boosted from the Protosynthesis. Earthquake comes through. Clean. Oh, it's never a 2 KO. That's, that's a bit unfortunate. That's a bit of a letdown. Right, if we assume they're going to go for a Hydra Steam, we should go into uh, Sloking cannot take two. Rampardos ain't doing anything for us this game. I'm sorry to say, but he's not. Unless, hmm, Heatran's not really doing anything for us. You know, screw it, let's just sack off Heatran. Sack off Heatran, free switch into the Galarian Sloking, we chilly reception, let's get rid of the sun, um, get the regenerator, all that wonderful stuff. Right, so let's do that. Heatran comes through. They go for a Dragon Breath for the Paralysis. Interesting. So my face just dropped when they used Dragon Breath then because I was like, am I going to get paralyzed? But apparently not. So that's fine. Um, we go for an Earth Power here, right? Yeah, we go for an Earth Power here 100% of the time. They withdraw, so they, that probably confirms they are Specs. And they're going to go into Grits once again. Now, Grits is in an interesting position because um, we could go for a... Uh, Lava Plume in the sun, which will do a bit more damage. Potentially get a burn. I'm going to use this opportunity to go into Hydrapple again. Um, just to get some Giga Drains off, really. That's that's all I'm really looking at. Some Giga Drains um, before the Stealth Rocks get up, which they are now up. Because Mandibles is gone, so they may as well, right? So I guess in theory, I could have gone into my Landorus there and got my, um, got my uh, Stealth Rocks up as well. But it doesn't matter. 
I will try and do that at some point, though. I will try and do that at some point. Um, maybe even now, actually. I don't know. Let's um, let's see how much Giga Drain does first. Because they have to kind of switch in the Gouging Fire here, right? Yeah, they withdraw. So are they going to go Gouging Fire? Probably, right? Grogoroth. That's the Gouging Fire, right? Yeah, it was the Gouging Fire. So the Gouging Fire comes in. We go for a Giga Drain. If we had Stealth Rooks up, that thing would be nearly dead by now. Maybe I could have gone for a Fickle Beam then expecting that. Well, I didn't want to risk it. For a Chalky Biscuit. Then again, there wasn't much risk. So yeah, Fickle Beam was definitely the right thing to do there. And I just failed to do it. Um, which is unfortunate, but it is what it is at the end of the day. So, this thing never has Earthquake. So I'm going to go into Heatran and just go for an Earth Power. We could also go Landorus and get the Intimidate off and then the Stealth Rocks. But I don't want to... I want to free switch into Landorus. So we'll go Hot Rod real quick, like so. They go for a Flare Blitz, which is going to boost off Flash Fire, which is great. Absolutely fantastic. And then, I think if we can get Hydrapolin under the Trick Room, we could potentially win this game. We just need that Ting Lu out of the way, really. We need that Ting Lu out of the way. And the Scovillain also needs weakening a little bit as well. So we'll go for an Earth Power here, because even if they go, well, they go for a Morning Sun, okay. Um, even if they go for Morning Sun here, this should 2-it KO them. Unless they're, like, really bulky. It's not a 2-it KO. It's not a 2-it KO. They are leftovers. So what do we do here? I, I'm going to... You know what I'm going to do? I'm going to hard switch into my uh, Landorus right now. And I'm going to go for a Stealth Rocks. I think that is the way to go forward. They might go Walking Wake. If they do that, we go Slow King anyway. Because they've got Dragon Breath, not Draco Meteor. So that's fine. Um, they do go into the Grits real quick, the Ting Lu. So we have made the right play by going Landorus here. And then all we'll do is we'll go for the Stealth Rocks and then we'll just start spamming Earthquakes at the Ting Lu. We need to weaken the Ting Lu pretty much is what I'm trying to get at. So Stones do dig in, which is fine. We get the Intimidate off, which is also fine. Even if they're Heavy Slam, it's not going to do much damage. We go for the Stealth Rocks just to get them up because that's going to hurt the Scoville and it's going to hurt the Gouging Fire. And the Walking Wake could be tipped over the edge just a little bit for 2, two it KOing later. So they go for that Ruination. It's obviously going to do a lot of damage. We, they, they can't KO us with Ru Ruination. So it's not the end of the world. We go for an Earthquake just to get damage off. It should do a lot. Eh, it does not enough. They go for a Sunny Day. Ah, that's a predicament. So if they're going for Sunny Day, what do we do here? What do we do? I'm going to go for an Earthquake, that's for sure. They withdraw. Are they going to go into the Walking Wake? Because that can't take an Earthquake after Stealth Rocks. Capsicum. That's going to be the uh, Scoville, right? Yeah, nice and shiny as well. Get some Stealth Rock chip. They aren't Heavy Duty Boots. We go for an Earthquake. That's going to definitely do a lot of damage. Actually KOs them. So Landorus came through. The Scoville and anticlimactically goes down. I think... If we can get a, tr a Trick Room up, we're actually going to be golden. So, um, I think personally, because that, that, that Ting Lu was at like low HP, right? So, I think we sack off high Heatran here. We could still use Landorus for the Ting Lu. And the Intimidate is going to be great for the Gouging Fire and the Great Tusk. So, we can still use Landorus, but Heatran less so. So, Point Stones are going to dig in to Heatran. They go for a Hydro Steam. That should take us out of the specs. It does take us out. But you know what won't take us out? That won't, that won't get taken out by this. Good old Slow King. So we're going to go into Slow King. We're going to go for a Trick Room. Even if they're Specs, we should still take one Hydro Steam from this thing after Stealth Rocks. We should still take one Hydro Steam. So I'm going to go ahead and go for the opportunity to go for a Trick Room right now. I think that's worth it. So they go for the Hydro Steam in the Storm. We don't live? That's not good. Okay, this is just backfired on me. Hydrapple could still put work in, though. It's at full HP. It can definitely take a Hydro Steam, no problem. And I think they are specs by that damage. So at least we know for definite the specs. Um, which means we can go for a Fickle Beam now, which is definitely going to KO this thing. They withdraw. What are they going to go into to take a Fickle Beam, though? Probably the Ting Lu, right? Grogoroth. The Gouging Fire. Stealth Rocks. And then Fickle Beam. We don't even need to go all out to KO. I don't think. Special Defense was boosted by Protosynthesis, though. <gasps> oh, but we're going all out. Yes. Double the power. Down goes the Gouging Fire. Hydrapple coming through without the Trick Room. Who even needs Trick Room? Who even needs Trick Room, eh? The Harsh Sunlight also fades, which is amazing. Now comes Grits once again. Again, I don't think we need um, Trick Room to win this with uh, Hydrapple. I mean, we've only got 60 seconds left. 
But I'm pretty confident we can win, we can win this. I'm pretty confident we win this because we don't, we've got the Terra Poison. So we can Terra Poison on the Walking Wake to get rid of the uh, Dragon Weakness. So they go for a Ruination. We've still got Pokemon to switch into to get Regenerator. I think we win with Hydrapple 100% of the time here. Giga Drain comes through. I just want to take out this Tinglu. That's all I want to do here. I want to take out the Tinglu. Let me do that at least. Let, don't let the timer run down. They withdraw Tinglu. And they're going to go into Somersault the Great Tusk, who cannot take a Giga Drain from us, that's for sure. Unless it's Assault Vest. So we go for the Giga Drain. They don't take it. We get all our health back. And that confirms it. All we need to do is take out the Tinglu with Giga Drain, Terra Poison, so that, we res so that we're neutral to the Dragon Breath from the Walking Wake, and we're golden, and we would have won. So even though this is um, a Fairy Mons ending, I still say we won with Hydrapple there. I say I still say Hydrapple won that game. So I'm going to show the I'm going to show it because Hydrapple did really well this game. Um, we go for a Giga Drain anyway. We've, we've run out of time anyway. So well, GG. That was a pretty fun one, Ken. Um, Ting Lu's always a pain to face. That's for sure. <laughs> They really need to extend the timer a bit, huh? Ah, well, I still think we would have won them with some extra time anyway. Hydrapple just really shined in that one. So anyway, no bonus battle today as I don't want to keep you too long. We've all got lives and everything. So thank you so much for watching today's video. I hope you all have a nice rest of your day. And with that being said, I'll see you all in a bit.